Today, we're doing some speed testing comparison. I've got the brand new iPad Air with the A12 chip and three gigabytes of RAM. We've got an original iPad mini back from 2012 with the dual core A5 chip and 512 megabytes of RAM. The iPhone 10 with the A11 chip and three gigabytes of RAM. And finally, a Google Pixel 2 XL with a Snapdragon 835 and four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and take a look at all four of them. We'll look at those specs one more time. All right, so the first benchmark we're gonna run is Antutu. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and push it at the same time on all the devices. So we had the iPad Air boot up first, followed by the iPhone 10, followed by the Pixel 2, and the original iPad mini is still trying to load. All right, so I thought that the iPad mini didn't even load, but it somehow finished first, and it had a score of 45,513. Next, we have the iPad Air, which has a score of 377,461, followed by the iPhone 10, 256,748, and finally the Pixel XL 2, 201,787, and this was the slowest to finish. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Geekbench 4. It runs on all the devices except the iPad mini, which it's not compatible with because it's so old. We'll go ahead and run the CPU benchmark. So the iPad Air finished first, clearly, with a single core score of 4,822 and a multi-core score of 11,477, followed by the iPhone 10 with a single core score of 4,277 and a multi-core score of 10,676. And finally, the Pixel 2 XL lagged behind with a single core score of 1,763 and a multi-core score of 6,160. Let's see if there's a significant difference between loading a web page on the iPhone 10 versus the iPad Air. Loaded almost instantaneously on the iPad Air and it was a little bit slower on the iPhone 10. Let's compare how fast a web page loads on the iPad mini versus the Pixel 2 XL. They're pretty fast on the Pixel 2, and the iPad mini is still trying to load. And there it goes, looks like it's done. So I just wanted to do a fun little speed comparison between the new iPad Air and some older devices. In the synthetic benchmarks like Antutu and Geekbench, I was pretty surprised at how close the iPhone 10 was with the new iPad Air, and how slow the Pixel 2 XL was. Uh, the iPad mini from 2012 didn't really surprise me there, but it was still fun to compare. Um, and you know, in everyday use, the new iPad Air is, it's very fast. Uh, the iPhone 10 is as well. The Pixel 2 is starting to show its age a little bit and it's pretty old. And the iPad mini from 2012, the first generation one is pretty much unusable at this point. But that's it for me this time. If you like what you see, bite that subscribe button.